Two Springfield area men known up in Kansas City as premier tailgaters at Chiefs games had to shelve the grill today. Why? Because there's no tailgating at this year's Super Bowl in Miami. Paul Adler is live at Hard Rock Stadium with their take on those rules. Paul. Hey, when you look out in this parking lot right outside Hard Rock Stadium where the Super Bowl is going to take place in just mere minutes, you don't see any of that smoke from the little charcoal grills rising in the air like you would up at a Chiefs game or uh, maybe a Green Bay Packers game. Got to throw that in there. Uh, the Mi uh, Miami Dolphins, they do allow tailgating during regular season games in the official lots, but this is the Super Bowl. It's a big day. The NFL sets the rules, so if you wanted a tailgate, you had to sign up for an official party, not on stadium grounds. Here in Miami, Brett Sheets, John Horton, well, those Ozarkians, they had a kitchen with a few items set up. They are known, as you mentioned, in Chiefs country for their tailgating prowess. They call their vehicle the bus. It's really a really fancy RV. It's nothing like a school bus at all. Uh, because of the rules here, the bus is not in Miami right now. But, you know, I talked to these guys, and you'd be hard-pressed to get them to say they're upset about going to the Super Bowl. I guess Miami doesn't like tailgating like Kansas City does. And we were told that there would be no tailgating, and at $300 a space for parking, um, I don't think we could afford to bring the bus into the stadium and take up that many parking spots and a ticket. So chose to buy a playoff or Super Bowl ticket instead of tailgating. We, uh, we normally uh, take a grill and I've got a bacon wrapped jalapeno and cream cheese stuffed uh, uh, prawns that I do and uh, they're always a big hit. Get a little special sauce we use on them. It's it's fantastic. I'm just so happy the Chiefs are in it. I you know I mean I enjoy tailgating a lot, but like I said, I've been so thrilled that you, the, just to know they're here. Uh, just a little while ago, we saw some people with pre-made food having kind of a tailgate outside their vehicle. Uh, a lot of people, fingers crossed, hoping for a Chiefs victory. And I have to tell you, just moments ago, we heard the. Uh, the Chiefs chant right here inside the stadium. And I'm hearing cheering right now. A lot of excitement in that building. It's a little different than it was this morning where it was real quiet, not much activity. We'll send it back to you for now. All right, have fun, Paul. Thanks so much. After the break, we catch up with a longtime Chiefs.